back with another, you guessed it, CZ75. Another beautiful CZ75. This time it's the compact model. Compact model, single action, double action, stock grips on it. It's pretty much the same thing that I have. CZ Omega, CZ75. Uh, it's just, there's no Omega trigger system in this. I'm sure it's gonna still fire the same. A lot of these platforms with the CZ75, they still fire the same, do the exact same thing. So we're just gonna get straight into this thing. See how that trigger feels in double action? Very smooth and that did hit the bullseye. Dead in the center. I am very used to these platforms and I did not notice this before I started shooting. If you can see, let me take my glasses off, see if I can see it as well in the camera. It has a load indicator on here. That's something, that's something that my CZ75 did not have. <laughs> oh man, this one, what? I'm at a loss for words, but I'm keeping the trigger pin back. I'm at a loss for words already. I can feel a major difference in my Omega sighting system than with this one. I would much prefer this sighting system that's on here I may end up switching out my CZ Omega sights for some of these because this right here, it is a game changer for me anyways. I don't necessarily like the suppressor height sights. They'll do the job, but not like this. Yeah, this thing, it locks in very well to the hand, man. CZ knew what they were doing when they did this pistol. Man, I just ate out. <laughs> that's what she said, and that's what he said. But I literally just chewed out the same hold. I mean, just over and over and over with this thing. I did shoot a little lower left, but with all that being said, it's in pretty much the same spot. So, gonna holster this up, take you guys down to check that out. So when I tell you it was chewing out the same area over and over and over, that is what it did. That is why I can't stress to you guys enough. If you have the funds and you can do it, get a hammer fired CZ. I cannot co-sign those things enough, man. I just love them. We'll do a few rapid shots, take you over to the steel, a little bit of running gun, and then some steel work. I hope my aim doesn't deteriorate when I start to do this. Still had that little ache in my arm, but I think we should be all right. It's all right. Majority of those, they did land. They're not very spread out. It may be hand size. As you can see, the controllability of this, it is very good. Now granted, I am at five yards. You know, guys know I shoot a little further than that. For this particular exercise, I am five yards. So now we're gonna move over to the steel and do a little steel work. <laughs> so now we're at the steel, we're gonna load and make ready. Ah, it's just locks in well with these regular rubber grips on it. This is made for concealed carry. It is definitely made for concealed carry. This is what you wanna use this for. I'm sure in the most capable hands you can use this competition. For me, concealed carry all day long. And we're gonna switch it up a little, but we're gonna go right to left. I'm always going left to right, so let's switch it up. Take out the monotony of doing the same things over and over and over. Tag 
took us 10 rounds to clear that. You know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Load. <laughs> Ooh, baby, that is nice. That is nice. <laughs> That is nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving that. Mmm. Mmm. So, for the last thing, one reload two will be the last one. And I am pocket loading this too. I have some paper plates. I'm gonna go to the paper plate, transition over after I reload. That, <laughs> that is phenomenal. Hit that reload, hit my shot on the paper and hit that reload and took the targets down. With enough training on these platforms, if you're a newbie, with enough training on these platforms, you can shoot just like that. I'm not the best in the world, but I'm also not the worst either. I'm just very used to the CZ75 platforms that have the internal slide rails and are hammer fired. I am a very huge proponent on carrying these. Should you get one like this? Absolutely. If you can get one at a decent price, Grab it up, grab it up quick. I think these may run for around four fifty, five hundred in the right spots. It may be six hundred, just depending. I I haven't seen these too much in the stores, like the compact D's. I haven't seen them too much in the stores. I don't necessarily know what all size, uh, what all models they are. I know it's the D, the Omegas, the CZ Zero Ones. I'm just not sure how many variants there are to this. But me personally, I'm gonna have to give this because I use it so much. This will be the first one. I'm gonna have to give this a nine out of 10 because the ergonomics on it, the accuracy on it, and the capacity makes it one of the better concealed carriers besides the CZ Shadow 2. These, I think, have been discontinued. So the Shadow 2 Compacts and the P01, well, the Shadow 2 Compacts have pretty much took over the concealed carrier as far as the hammer fire. I'm not sure that how many is actually out there. Some of you guys actually know, put it down in the comments for me. But with all that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. But don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe on your way out. Come back for more. Make sure you get those notifications whenever I post a new video so you can come back some more and chill out with me. See y'all fellas in the next one. And you too, ladies, now, because there's two women watching this channel. Appreciate everything you guys do for me.